and welcome to my channel, Bigger Gaming, or if you see my previous videos, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at a, essentially a secret door for like jewels, so a secret hidden chest door type thing. Here. And uh, as you can see, I have a lot of different fountains, and actually I did, I've built something like this uh, with a friend before, I made this for a friend before. It was actually, he had like a mountain house, and he actually, for his design, he actually put a bunch of these water things side by side, next to each other. And it basically what it was, is on top of each of these here, he had a lever switch or a button, I can't exactly remember. And when you hit them in a certain order, they opened up a room here and it went to a chest room. And where he kept all his stuff and so he didn't get trolled or anything from the other people that were in the game, and I thought that was a good idea, so I figured I'd go ahead and share it with you this week, and uh, this is just a little bit different, it's not a combination, but it's essentially a, just a dumbed down version of it for you guys, and so we can do something here kind of quick so you don't have to go for all the hassle of combination locks or anything like that. This is just very simple, and I thought you guys would enjoy it, so let's get started. And so what I did here is I just kind of built my house where I just kind of laid it out. I didn't put any redstone or anything like that in then, because this is essentially a tutorial. But what I did here, I'll kind of walk around here so you guys can copy. Obviously, I get up really high. And if you guys just want to stop the video and kind of copy that, you can. Or you can do this, you can make your own house and just put a bunch of these fountains in that I put in here. You saw how I did this. Here, I just put white wall on the back here and just put up here and then obviously this will house or room will have to be uh, two blocks high to put here and so it doesn't look stupid um, yeah. or you could just make a ring around here and kind of come up Let's see here like this it, it depends how big you made this room but if you just want to put a bunch of phones so like I said my friend just put them all side by side next to each other in one part you guys could do that too uh, and so I just chose this uh, this kind of style house to show you and I have a bunch of these fountains on all different corners, but I would suggest a bunch of these these fountains here. Make them look like they're decoration, like they're, they're just decoration here. Nothing suspicious about them, just fountains as decoration like I have here. Now basically what you're going to do, or no, we're going to make this a little bit sneaky. We're going to make this, you uh, know, hide, can hide those diamonds if your friends, you know, when I'm stealing, you know, I'm trolling. What we're going to do here is, you're going to have one room in the back that'll be... Like it, a, a uh, chest room with diamonds or anything. Now, what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna have my one double chest here. Oh, let's see, uh, my chest. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna go like that with sticky pistons. You're gonna put them on each side of here. Your room here. So copy this room exactly like I have it here. You can expand this out. Like right here. You'll be able to expand this all the way up here. But, kind of follow this here. You're gonna need a door. That's with two sticky pistons. So, a piston door here. And what I did is, if you're just gonna do one double chest here, just kind of wrap this around the fredstone as I did. As I did. Redstone. Wrapped it around the redstone. There we go. Perfect. Alright, then the, uh, what I did you know, what I did is I'm actually gonna hit the hay so you guys can see. I will continue this this in the morning. Oh. Wait, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, this is not okay, when can I go to sleep? I can barely see right now. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna be able to see here. Alright, so next step is we're gonna choose three different fountains. Three of the ones you have. You can have as many as you want. The more you have, obviously, the more uh, it's gonna be secret. I just put eight. Choose three of the fountains and by random. And I'm just gonna choose three. And what you're gonna do is right adjacent to the fountain we have here let's go like this and place a lever switch 
like that. Just like so. Then, um, maybe I want to choose this one over here. This, so, this over here, you can put right on top here. Bam. Blubber switch. And maybe I want the other one to be over here. Again. Bam. Actually, put it inside here. Bam, lever switch. I would probably do the same, so keep them inside the house or the room here, unless you're doing like a mountain house. And, uh, you don't have to worry about that. But Freestanding house, make sure they're lever switch inside here, so, because otherwise you're going to have gaps here and you're going to have to try to fill it all in, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, yeah, and so what you're going to do here is going to follow all these here, you're going to connect all these. Uh, different um, levers here with redstone dust. That's the simplest route, I guess. I'm just gonna choose this route. Diagonal seems to be the best thing here. I'm just gonna go diagonal. Go like shit. Dust. All right. And so now you gotta make sure that. Like, you're going to have, like, one spot in the middle here. You're going to want to make sure that each of these can power this repeater here. So you're going to test it. So you're going to turn this on. They can power it. Bam. That's one done. You're going to choose this one over here. Alright, that powers it. Bam. We're going to test one more. I don't know if this is going to make it or not, but we can always add a repeater. So, like, right here. Add a repeater. Bam. Done. What we might have to do here just since the, the lever won't work off that repeater you're just gonna move it over one either side it doesn't matter and they will all work I'll just test that again to make sure it works since we did move it and yes it does work all right and so now that we have that what we're gonna do is just place redstone torch and we're gonna come down just like that, and so they're closed now. Nah, I'm sorry. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have it open like that, and we're gonna come in here, and we're gonna power all these switches, and so they're all on. That's okay. I'm sorry. I got this stuff. So they're all on. For don't don't put that inverter in or not gate or torch. Don't worry about that. Uh, yeah. And so now that you have that, that is pretty much it. The most part just gonna make this make it make it look nice. The redstone's really not much. That's why I kind of want to do this just for the people that don't know much about redstone. They want to do something cool. This is uh, a pretty cool. It's really really simple. So, I, yeah, it's really nice. And so, now, I could just cover this up with a ceiling. And obviously, up above there, if you have a mountain house, you don't have to worry about it. If it's a freestanding house, you just kind of have to make like a little roof up above there. But at least for this room here, I'm just going to fill in all with whatever block of choice I have. I'm just going to use white wool for the sake of this tutorial. Now, I'll show you how this plays out now. We are almost done. The breadstone is done. So, like I said, really simple. A couple of connections, and you're all good to go. I really thought this would be good because I know a lot of people. Like I've done some more complex ones in the past. And I figure for the people that just you know want to do something really simple, but don't know much knowledge. This is just really really simple for. Those of you that really uh, want to, they want to protect their stuff, like in survival and stuff. There's not much work. So. Alright, so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to put some torches, you can put glowstone, doesn't matter, I don't know, I'm just going to put some light in here. 
just to brighten it up a little bit. Alright, so now what we're going to do is, when you walk in, a lot of people are going to be like, Oh, this is a cool feature here. No one's going to suspect that there's a room behind here. Now what you you know is there's three of these here that come up. You can go up here and you're going to swim up. And you can turn that off. Uh, turn that off. You can come over to this one over here. And turn that off. And you can come over to... Uh, let's see, what is the other one? This one over here. And turn this off as well. And as you will see, I just turned all of them off. And now my thing is open here. I can get whatever I want out of here. Say I want to protect this land of redstone. And I just go ahead and go back to my thing here. And just turn them all back off again. Now what you could do is on all of these... Uh, water things here. You could put like a torch. Oh, wait. <laughs> you could put uh, switches on all of these here, but they, they so they all look the same. But only some of them actually do something. That's a preference. I don't really care about doing that, but it might be something for you to consider. But obviously, you you can turn all these back on again. And I'm not gonna worry about swimming up. I'm just gonna turn on up above here. I get them all going so you guys can see that this is off now and yeah very 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 simple and uh, yeah so big thanks to my friend that kind of helped me with this at the time really cool he's uh, yeah he really came up with the idea of the fountain he wanted me to put some of the redstone in, and I came up with, you know, is actually more of a combination lock thing. I had all of them had, like, buttons, and he had to kind of, like, uh, like, put a certain com combination of the buttons in to make this door pop open here. But I figured let's do a simplified version of it for you guys today. And, uh, you know, that's really cool. So, if you did enjoy, please leave a like comment and subscribe to this channel to see more uh, next week or within this week I'm not sure it might even be tomorrow who knows I'm going to be putting a, a special one up a special redstone tutorial up this is just a filler just in case I don't get to that but it's more of a complex one but it's really really cool so if you guys subscribe really appreciate it and uh, to my friend, thank you for, if you're watching this, thank you for the idea. And we will see you next week. Ciao.